Hey everybody, welcome back to Edgington, the city on the edge here, of course, in Timber and Stone 152. So it is dawn of day 43. I don't think there's anything dangerous out here, but let's have a look just to be sure. Because it does like to show up right as I say there wasn't anything in the night. Which there wasn't, thankfully, so there's a plus. We also didn't get any new settlers, but that's less of an issue. Especially today, when I only have the one monitor, and the game is taking up the entirety of it, so I can't actually see my list. Um, or indeed the timer that tells me how long I've been recording, so yeesh. Uh, but we have nearly finished digging out this road, and I've already got parts of the road re-established, so pretty much up to here. We've still got a whole ton more to build it, but we've got our people coming out to take a look at it. So hopefully that'll happen soon. Um, other than that, I did think of something we could do to make this walk, like this this road, a bit more scenic. Because if we look to structures, I think a lot of furniture. Uh, no wood chair is not what I'm looking for. I'm pretty sure that there is like a bench. Here we go, stone bench. Allows you to sit when idle, having a few benches scattered around, a good way to prevent idle years from blocking pathways. Free raw stone built by stonemasons. Now, we've had two people die on this road, so, or in the process at least, of building this road, so I thought it would be rather nice if we actually had a couple of places for people to sit along there, just as a sort of memorial kind of uh, thing. So we'll put one there, and another one halfway between the next two lights, roughly speaking, so about there. Lovely. Post banner, Bowser used a decoration to get the presence of a settlement. Penance, he used to integrate the banners as well. Eh, not really a huge concern right now. We could also have statues along here, but I kind of like the idea of a... The idea of a, uh, a memorial, like, chair. That seems nice to me. But, uh... We'll wait for a stonemason to get out of here and set that up. They're still working on making bricks, so we can continue building this out. And geez, you've barely been like at work at all, Marinto. What are you up to? Eating. You know, we had food back at the. Never mind. What I might do is have uh, is have food barrels next to these benches as well, which then gives our patrolling guards something to do. Oh, and we've got our stonemason coming along. Who's this? This is Ellie, our level twenty stonemason. Hooray! So these seat two people, and hopefully they'll look quite nice, we'll see, in a quick moment. There we go. Oh yeah, that looks really nice. Oh, that's beautiful. So you can just sort of sit here, just simulate someone sitting, just look around, see what's going on. You are basically blind to the area behind you, but... Worst things in the world. Uh, so let me just see, storage, food barrel... We don't have any copper ingots. Do we have any copper ore? Next question. One. So we need more copper before we can actually do anything with that. That's fine. We'll wait on that. Not a terribly huge concern. Oh, jeez. Jeez, Bernard. Oh my god, you are so slow. How much brick are you carrying? You're carrying 13 bricks, and you are so slow. You don't have a week back, either. Jeez, dude. That's that's almost bizarre to watch. But how are we doing on the dig here? We just gotta get this last section up here, and then we'll have the entire area ready for paving. So yay. Uh, so yeah, that's a nice little like touch I thought we could do, because that also would keep our guards that are on the patrol routes from wandering all the way back either to in here or in here to get food whenever they actually get hungry which they frequently do because they do a lot of walking around uh, so I might try and replicate that on other sides ideally I won't have to rename it but I can here so let's see the two people that died I believe were Cat and Bumble if memory serves uh, I will have to check my notes, because it's been a bit of a while and I had a pretty busy month, to say the least. Um, if we check our miners, the, our mining population, as it were, and jeez, there's so many torches out here, I can barely see who is who. 
So blacksmith, carpenter, lumber, carpenter, medium saving, carpenter. Oh, thanks, Meg. <laughs> Early morning, the torches go out. Bunch of farmers who have really nothing much to do right now. And the tailor. Does the, the tailor have nothing to do right now? Let's take a look. Uh, nothing in the list, because no lever, no, nothing to make lever out of, and no lever tunics. Hmm. Uh, okay, sore. Let's set you back to hunt for gather berries. Go ahead, just don't grab, just don't grab the chickens because we need that. More endurance now, little mine miner. Hello. Very good. That's somebody. Some people still have their uh, torches out, apparently. Aeneas. Oh, there it goes. Just as I look, away it goes. Ha. Huh. Ah, so yes, I am back from MCM. This is the first video of any tune that I'm recording after I get back, which is something like five days ago, more or less, uh, by the time you guys see it. Oh, come on, just a little bit more. That's all I need. Warrender. What are you carrying right now that's making you so heavy? Tendered. Because you apparently need to have... I should, I should put stockpiles next to these so people are lighter when they're moving away. That might have saved a life. <laughs> If I'd done that. Oh. Let's see how many are not food? 1300. Yeah. Ah, so yeah, I'm back, which means I'm now getting back into the swing of recording everything. Um, not at remotely as breaknet a pace as I was in October. Stone tongs have broken. Do we have any more stone tongs? No, we don't. Okay, let's add 25 to the queue then. Uh, how are we for hose? Pickaxes are good, hose are good. Hammers? Hammers are usually very important. Yeah, 42 hands will be fine. No worries. No worries at all. It's a rather nice, peaceful morning. So, phew. Yeah, so I'm getting back into the swing. It's a little bit jarring, I have to say. I mean, I was, a, I was working at, I was pretty much working myself into a frenzy last month, and this month I get to be much more laid back. So it's taking a little bit of getting used to to get back into that. Um, what tends to happen a lot is if I stop doing something, the hard part is getting back into it, almost no matter how short I was like not doing it. So consequently, the uh, few days off I technically had at MCM um, have sort of knocked me for a loop a little bit, but I'm getting back to it, I'm getting back to it. Of course, when you're seeing this, I... I hope there'll have been a Mating Do episode yesterday, but BlizzCon comes up, so consequently, um, things aren't exactly necessarily absolutely going to actually have uh, occurred there. We'll see. Because of course I've got Fuzz in the series now, and Fuzz, Fuzz will be eaten by BlizzCon, that's fair to say. But the biggest, like, issue I have is that because I wasn't filming Mating Do for such a long time, because I got those episodes out of the way fairly early in October, um, my facial hair has actually managed to grow. And I like having my facial hair. I like this, uh, I like this arrangement. Especially now that it's gotten to this state where it's, um, it's displaying the fact that it is in fact salt and pepper, believe it or not. My hair, my, my facial hair at least is salt and pepper. Which I attribute mostly to my dad's dark hair and my mum's light hair. I don't know if there's actually like a specific, um, a, a specific like gene that could be passed on for salt and pepper facial hair or whatever. And admittedly I don't have much knowledge of my mum's facial hair. She doesn't tend to grow it much. My dad, on the other hand, has a significant history of horrific facial hair from the 80s and 90s, and who knows, maybe in like 20 years that's how I'll look upon this, but for the time being, I like having my facial hair, but when I'm portraying the maid, I have to be clean shaven. Oh, who are you? Morris Wright, level 2 builder. Oh, looks like we do have a new settler. Okay. Now I have to try and remember who is on my list. Oh boy. Eep. For a second there, I could have sworn I hit some fire. That would have been terrible. But yeah, so every time I have to film Maid, uh, before I get in the get-up, I have to go shave myself entirely clear. In the face, at the very least. Um, and then I don't get to see my facial hair for like another couple of weeks. Like, it's fairly stubby for like a day or so, but it takes forever to get to this length. 
because it's I, I doubt it surprises anybody to know that uh, I can't exactly grow a full beard in like a couple of days. I'm not quite that uh, full of testosterone, or um, I'm not that um, follic follicularly uh, gifted. I don't know exactly. So who have we got out here? We've got Aku and we've got Paper. So does that mean that Penguin's down here? No, that's Blair. Where is Penguin? Oh, here's Penguin, I think. Yes. Are you just set to... Yes, you're set to fully sleep because you are... Uh, you were injured a while back. Uh, is that the same for you then, Blair? Yes, it is. Okay. Wake up. You're getting hungry. Don't know when that happens, but evidently I forgot. <sighs> that could be dangerous. We did have, like, one... At, at, a, at one stage last night, we did have one person patrolling the highways. So, thankfully, there wasn't anything that turned up. I was expecting to see, like, 15 spiders spread broadly across the area. Just because that would then mean that we were in dire concern of, it, of encountering a... Oh, the bricks. Okay. Uh, of encountering a matriarch, and I'm sure the game would love to unleash one on me. Not that I'm paranoid or anything. Uh, how are we on the designations? Okay, it's still probably other things to go for. I can add another one. So, Morris. Firstly, I think I know a name to give you. Secondly, I don't know that we need another builder. Why is there a chicken in here? There's a wild- how is there a wild chicken in the middle of Edgington? Okay, what have you got? Hard worker, disloyal, quick learner. Okay, those are two very good traits to have. Uh, you're a decent miner. Ooh. Good stonemason, good infantry, good carpenter. Oh, you're just a one- you're just a wunderkind. Uh, you bring dirt, ladder, wood logs, raw stone, an iron hammer, and some food. Well, we'll accept you, Morris. And... I'm going to rename you to Koala Kyle. And let's see, let's put you on mining. Because we lost a couple of miners and we could do with some more. So welcome Koala Kyle. The wet trip is leveled up. Hey. So hopefully. That will see us to getting this done faster, and then we can get some other parts done. Maybe Koala Kyle can be just sort of a bounce. Um, just like pop between miner and builder as needed. Oh, who's this? Warrender. Okay. I'm very happy to see this uh, roadway done soon. Oh, that's Witchy. There's also a miner. I think one of the miners we lost was Cat. I wanted to say it was cats, but I don't recall exactly. Okay, let's see if we can build, at the very least, temporarily a builder's cart over here. Just to save on time a little bit, traveling and whatnot. And let's do the same with a mining stock pile. Eh, mining stock pile's not really worth it because I've only got that few left. But the builder's cart almost certainly is going to be important. And let's also, since that's coming to an end, let's designate some more mining to be done down here. That'll get us some more resources again. So, two across, three wide. Really deep. Just our standard mining pattern, if you will. Which I'm sure are free miners again. It's gonna blow through, but hopefully the lily spice may find me some time to find them something else to do. Okay, so that leaves one name on my uh, on my list, I believe. I we'll have to see exactly how that goes when we get uh, when we get the next one, because after that I need names. So I might have to just not name new uh, new settlers. Alternatively, I might have to ask around and see if, uh, see if there's any patrons of mine that have not actually given me names. So that's Paper, that's Blair, okay. 
Blair, who did not sabotage the blood samples. That was a reference very few people are going to get, I'm sure. Oh, so it looks like... Yeah, we're just two blocks shy. Oh, come on, guys. Are you hungry? You're mining stone. Oh, you're going back there to mine stone. Why? Come on. Come over here. Fix this. Come on, witchy. You can do this. I know you can do this. I believe in you. Finish the road. <laughs> and meanwhile, I shall set more of this to be actually built. There. Ah. Oh, can you not? Hang on. Hang on a second. Hold it. Can you not do that because there's a patrol route on it? I wonder. Oh, I just got rid of the entire thing. Whoops. Well, I guess that works. It's fine. I can fix it up. No problem. So yeah, that's not actually registered to mine. Ah, that explains a bit. Just grab the last two pieces and we'll be good. And then I'll go and insert that uh, patrol route. Let's build brick free. There. Oh, so much fruit coming in. So much fruit coming in. Loving it. There. Okay, so that is the entirety of the... Like, the entirety of the thing set up. So now we pretty much need to wait for that block to be replaced. Because <laughs> otherwise I can't actually tell them, oh hey, there's a patrol room here. Right click to remove previous point. Yeah, about that. Okay, so there. Here. Three way down here. And four as well. And then over to here. All the way along to here. And there. I don't quite know why it goes so wiggly. There, and down to at least as far as uh, we currently have built out. And I think that's it, so done. There. All good. <laughs> Ish. Hopefully next time I'll use the correct buttons when I'm doing that, but uh, for now I don't have to do. Uh, Aku? Why not? Get over here. Get to work on that. Where are our other builders? Are they just like working on it? Working over here? I know we have more than one builder. What are you doing, Penguin? Idle. All the patrol routes you're set to do, you're presumably just waiting for a few seconds before, before you decide to do so. No? Okay, over here. Get to work. Clear out some inventory space before you do stuff that I don't know what you want to do. Okay. So let's see, we got Fieldstone out now and we're working on cobble. Let's put some more brick on the list then. There we go. Because cobblestone is for expanding the back here, and fieldstone goes into the building. Ooh, it's late morning too. Ooh. This is why I need, like, some degree of clock visible to me, because otherwise I have no idea how long I've got before, uh, before I cut the episode, pretty much. It's, it's the slight downside of doing things all in one take, I guess. And how are we doing with the mining down here? I see we've got a bunch of coal. Ooh, just digging away. Digging away. Lovely. Building going? Are you, what, are you coming back for food, Samara? 
Yes, you're coming back. You're coming back for food, which is another another advantage of if we had more food barrels up here. Now, the slight problem with that is that the food barrels would be exposed and very likely one of the first things attacked by monsters like goblins and uh, necromancers. On the other hand, though, they would be right next to all of these uh, all of these positions where people are going to be dealing with them. Now, why is nobody patrolling? Loop, infantry, archers, allow, ah, allow, allow, that's the problem, I think. Let's find that button. Let's allow four, and make it six. I don't actually know how many we have. But... There we go, that's, that should put everybody back to work on them. So it thought there was already two, en enough people on that particular route so it didn't let anything else onto it. It's been ages since I set the thing up. Okay, I might be a little fuzzy on how it was done. But now we go. There we go. Good. Ha. Ah. Ah, so yeah, I'm waiting on seeing some more copper ore so that we can try and get at least one more food barrel along here so that we can uh, put that together and get working a little bit more smoothly. Because having all of our uh, infantry just wander all the way back to, like, the town hall for food isn't exactly efficient, to say the least. Okay, that looks good. Do we not have, like, what's, what's the situation with our farms here? Uh, so that's a wheat farm, of which we still- we have 131. Okay, receipt. That is much less wheat than I thought we had. Uh, oh, wait, don't receive that. Uh, remove that one. There are no crops, which is why you said that. Uh, let's select the wheat to go down. There, it's a bit more organized as well. So, there we go. Yeah, if we don't have enough wheat, which we currently do, but who knows for how long, then our animals around here start to starve. And that errant chicken has been collected. Good. I don't know how that chicken got out, but it did. <laughs> no more. No more errant chicken ray for you. Uh, let's see. No more copper still. Let's have a look. Oh, and that's Sawtooth way over there. No, I don't see anything particularly monstrous, thankfully. Always a concern. Have we exposed anything or? Oh, hey, we got some copper. Oh, and we have a we have Meredith, a new engineer. Uh, okay, hard worker, clumsy, spings a stone hammer, wood logs, and some rope. A good builder. A good infantry. Hmm. Sure, so welcome. This is my last name. Oh boy, and it's just in time for the end of the episode. Welcome, Rafe Webster, and I'm going to put you as an infantry for the time being. And that will lead me into a whole thing I need to discuss for next, uh, next episode. So, well, with that in mind, hope you've enjoyed. This might be a slightly short episode. I don't know. Um, oh, would you guys let me up as well? Great. But, uh, hope you've enjoyed, and I shall catch you all next time.